This is Nick Nielsen, Mad Scientist to Muscle, and the exercise I got for you here is a killer core exercise. This is very similar in concept, to be honest, almost identical in concept to a goblet squat done with a dumbbell. Um, if you don't have dumbbells that go heavy enough, this is a great alternative. This is going to be an easy bar, single end loaded goblet squat. So it's the same position as a goblet squat, only because you're using an easy curl bar, you can load it a lot heavier than a dumbbell, especially if you don't have heavy dumbbells. You just get this bar, you know, three feet long. It's going to shorten the range of motion a little bit, but you're still going to get massive effect on your core. Some on your legs uh, to a good degree, but primarily on the core. It's also going to hit the upper body, across the shoulders and triceps as you're doing this. Now, I've got 45 pound plates on here. So I'm actually going to be doing kind of like a, a modified goblet position where I'm not just holding with the hands, but I'm actually doing almost like a three point hold. So I've got the, uh, the hands kind of in the 10 and two position. And then the other end of the plate's going to be resting right across here. So it's like a cross between a front squat and a goblet squat. When you're doing this one, just load the one end. You'd think that the collars would need to be really, really tight. But as you're doing this, you'll see that the only thing that the collar really needs to support is the weight of the bar, which is about 20 pounds. The actual weight of the plates is supported by you. So it's basically just the bar free hanging. The bar is there to stop the range of motion. The bar is there to keep the plates organized so they don't slide around. Now, <clears throat> lift up the end, set it on end vertically on the ground, then get into position, and then perform the exercise from there. So here's, here's what it looks like. When you're setting it up, make sure this end doesn't slide out from under you. So I've got to a 345 set under here. This is grand total of about 155 pounds. Here's the front view. Yeah, this is a tough exercise. It's really gonna hit the core, like I said, very, very strongly. Legs somewhat, but uh, overall killer exercise. You can use it for heavy weight, or you can lighten it up and go for lighter weight, higher reps as well. So. You just want to try, <laughs> then you're going to love it. Also, be careful when you're setting it back down on the floor. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, if you want to get more training videos just like this one, be sure to click on either of those two videos over on the left.